Hello there, Hostos uh, students. Trust you're all well, Professor Scott. And this um, sequence, which is going to be on YouTube, is specifically for students who were not attending the last classes and who did not take their art materials back home with them. And there's even some that I think didn't even bother buying it yet. So uh, if you're in that position, and you haven't got anything, we'll just do some drawings. So the first exercise, I want you just to find any object, you know, it doesn't have to be something special, but uh, if you have something special, that's good. I took this old uh, G.I. Joe diving helmet, and uh, I've just grabbed it, and I grabbed some loose paper from my uh, cheap stuff printmaking paper and uh, basically I hope that you can all have a pencil something to draw with even if it's a pen if you haven't got a pencil just use a pen and any item it doesn't have to be something tricky like this uh, I'm doing a painting with a diving suit just now that's why I'm using this little metal thing uh, I mean, if you haven't got any ideas, just take the glass. If you've, if you've a pair of glasses or your parents have a pair of glasses or something, just take those. Uh, the idea of the first exercise is just to quieten the mind. Um, you know, get a piece of paper in your room, take a look at the object and Try and put everything else out of your mind, you know, all the uh, worries about uh, coronavirus, the worries about education, everything that you normally um, have running around inside your mind. Let it go as you start to sketch this object, you know, and the more you can put things out of your mind and the more you can look at this thing in front of you. This is going to be a looking and concentrating exercise. So you look and you see what you can see, draw it as best as you can. I'm just going to do this. I'm not going to make this uh, talk too long, so I won't finish the whole drawing. But you can spend half an hour or an hour on this drawing. It's up to you. Now I'm just going to do this <coughs> Literally, I just started it, so I'm just going to spend a minute doing it, but it would be nice if it became a form of meditation for you. And you could spend as long as you like, come back to it, go and look at it, try and improve your concentration skills, and also build up on the lessons I was teaching you about shadowing, <coughs> excuse me, shadowing and other things. So this goes on for a while and anyway, you know, slowly I'm going to build that up and as I start looking and more and more at the object, and it can be anything, I mean you don't have to look for something intricate. You could go into your pocket, you might have some keys, just take those and try and draw one of the keys. If you feel more adventurous and you've got more than one key, try and draw the interlocking different keys coming together. That's if you're a more advanced artist. Now, <clears throat> when you get this done, take a photograph of your first attempt, click, send the photograph to me as an attachment I Scott I S C O T T at hostos dot cuny dot edu. Send it to me as an attachment, and I will make a comment on the drawings as you send them. Make sure your name is attached to it, and we're going to do this. And also, if you're still working on your face, there is a video up which I would have sent you. You can do a drawing of the face. Now you're going to have to do this without colour. I guess you don't have any paints in the house. So the uh, 
class so far is at this stage where I was talking about the shadowing and the face. I haven't done any more than this was a five minute talk yesterday. So you can draw your face as well using a mirror and send that to me and I'll make comments on that as well. So you've got like two drawing exercises. One is just drawing a still life object. Anything that you can think of. You could draw a pair of glasses. You could draw your um, keys. Send them to me and then I can give commentary. So that's what we're going to do with those students who haven't been attending recent classes and haven't managed to bring back any art materials from the uh, college so that they've got nothing at home. And that's a few of you, but don't worry, I will look at your drawings and I will give you commentary and you will learn individually. So you contact me through emails, through the Hostos website and take care of yourselves. All the very best. This is over and out drawing exercise for students who do not have art materials at home. Bye for now.